So my awesome thing of the week um, isn't just about the technology, but Uber, Shopify, Twitter, and some other companies came forward this week and announced how they are giving all of their engineers and developers mm-hmm. fully loaded brand new mm-hmm. MacBook Pros. And when I say fully loaded, I mean it has the M1 Max. It has 64 gig of RAM. Oof. Um, for engineers all these, yeah all these devices and developers yeah like the shopify person or the, the person in charge of engineering which sounds like they also run their development area mm-hmm. um, they were giving it to all their ios developers twitter talked about how they're giving it to all their ios and android engineers and i see you got a couple articles here uh, uh one from the next web and the other one from where was that other one from Nine to five Mac. Nine to five Mac there. Um, so. But I wouldn't, I, I didn't feel like nine to five Mac, Mac was doing a propaganda story because they were quoting, they were directly quoting people from the companies mm-hmm. um, that, that they're publicly cited. I mean, the one guy made his comment on LinkedIn, right? But it said, how much time would a $4,000, because these are $4,000 machines, top of the market machine like the M1 shave off of each build? And they're saying that it's, in the life of the device, it, it'll be two years. They will, by purchasing these devices, they will see, they will over time see two years worth of speed gain just based on rendering and compile time. Hmm. So I just think about it. And as as you read the other stories about how, you know, Microsoft released their $250 to me, lump of junk. Um, <laughs> Wait, what is it? What did Microsoft release? So they released the their two hundred and forty nine dollar Surface Laptop SE. Okay, it's that's that's to me beyond targeted at kids or stu- mm. actually not even kids. It's targeted at schools and students. Mm. Um, there's no store for installing apps. It can o- applications can only be installed by IT department. Oh, so it's like the like listen like so so is that like like how like I, I so I dusted off these like 2010 netbooks trying to see what we can do and they have like Windows 7 Starter Edition on them which you can do almost nothing with as far as Windows goes. So is it something like that? I think it's even lower than that because Windows yeah. Seven, like you could go out and get an old copy of WinZip and run it on there, right? Like these yeah. are, yeah, yeah. This is before there was a Microsoft store that they, you they yeah. locked everything down and said you only get stuff here and stuff like that, right? So yeah, yeah. Uh, I just think of these. I mean, these devices have an eleven point six inch, thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight resolution, a seven twenty p camera. They're limited to dual-core Celeron chips, and they come in either 4 or 8 gig of RAM with a choice of 64 to 128 gig of um, space. Um, I just look at these, and I think I would just go buy a Chromebook. Yeah. For the same point. price, I can get I can get a much more flexible Yeah. I mean, even Chromebook. just even just having the Android stuff on there, right? Right. So, 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 but, but then on the flip side of that, right, you look at like these companies that are saying, look, if I go spend the money, not only am I investing in my people, I'm investing in my time mm-hmm. or the time the people mm-hmm. are doing. So I can not only make people happy, but I can get more work done. Absolutely. And I don't know where, mm-hmm. where Jason or no software Jameson on Twitter is from. He's from some company. Um, We recently found out that the new 2021 M1 MacBooks cut our Android build times in half. Jeez. So for a team of nine, $32,000 worth of laptops will actually save $100,000 in productivity over 2022. Holy crap. The break-even point on the device happens at three months of ownership. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Engineering hours are much more expensive than laptops. So I'm just I'm just finding it interesting. Like I think, are we going to go back? If you remember, like 
I was, geez, I was probably, it was probably the, it was the late nineties where there was like a chip. It was almost like Intel was racing itself mm -hmm. to release new chips mm -hmm. where it seemed like every six to nine months, there was some new chipset coming out. I'm wondering if we're going to see that again, both as Apple has developed their own Silicon and Intel continues to try to go up against that and AMD. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm not in the I'm I'm nowhere near I'm years out from another computer, but I am excited to see what my computer's going to be like years out. Interesting. And I don't know if I would invest. It'll be like I don't know. I now now's the time I wouldn't probably buy a PC because it'll be interesting to see how they can mm -hmm. double or quadruple this speed <clears throat> over the next couple of years because this is just kind of to me gen. We're still in Gen One of this type of equipment, so I think it's only going to get better. Interesting. Uh, but you know, you the, the well. I'm not getting the new one, but we are pegging the Mac Minis for studio use in the near future. Um, but uh, geez, like the, the, yeah, it looks like it's pretty crazy. But, but yeah, it, it's, it's being used for engineering at this point. Um, I you know I also wonder, uh, you know, I'm looking at like kind of uh, uh, mapping and AI stuff and what they're using, and of course they're kind of more it's an Intel base um, specifically this kind of stuff that I'm seeing. Um, so it would be it'd be interesting if they, like that would flavor you know. That would that would swap over kind of thing. So man, those those new MacBooks. Katie, are you are you are you salivating over the new MacBooks yet? I know you're getting kind of long in the tooth on yours. Yeah, I'm trying to not let myself get talked into yeah, a new one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, even they're saying they're Good. saying like the rendering is thirty per twenty to thirty percent faster Jeez. in Final Cut. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit of the crunch with the uh, 4K work we've been doing lately. 